it's Sunday. Whether my family goes to church, doesn't. We really like to have it as mostly a relaxing day, catch up with some things we want to get cut up on, and just get mentally prepared for the next week. So for the kids, getting lunches packed, getting ready, knowing what they're doing next week, if there's anything they need to get turned in, they bring it to us, we sign it, all these kind of things. The wife's getting prepared. She's got a couple more days off in her vacation she took, and then she's heading to Atlanta. So she's just getting herself prepared. She also is teaching a course at another college. So she's actually a professor an adjunct professor, which means she's teaching one course, so she's doing that uh, and getting everything set up so that she can go ahead and, and have that completely ready. It's an online course, so she has to make sure that everything's set up for her students so they can easily get on, know her, learn her, so that's very exciting as well. Exciting day for me, though. So, um, watching football on the big screen here, which is great. Just got a friend of mine, just got Sling TV. Things that I love. I'm going to do a Things That I Love. Uh, and talk about a lot of the different companies that I enjoy, different things that I love that make my life easier. I think that for companies, the number one thing that they need to look for is pain points. What are pain points in our lives as consumers that we would spend money to not have that pain point? And for me, cable TV. I, I don't want it. I don't like it. I, I don't love paying $100 to $150 a month, $80 a month, whatever it is, because we don't watch all the all the channels. Why? Why am I paying for everything? all the time and we only watch a small percentage of it so I've got a few friends who have hooked me up with you know codes for for their cable TV that they're using uh, I trade them codes for things that I have like Netflix but the best thing is sling TV so sling TV lets you pay for what you want and what do I want red zone TV that's all I want I just want to be able to watch football you know the kids they love watching YouTube they love watching Netflix me, I, I love Red Zone TV. I love being able to watch all the football games, commercial free, absolutely amazing. So, side note, I did not pay for it. Thank you to my friend Patrick. He hooked me up with Sling TV. So, I owe you one, Patrick. I'll come through when you need it as well. Next exciting thing that's happening today, uh, gonna be a quick day, kind of a bang bang. I woke up late, got all my homework done, uh, just went ahead and put together the video for yesterday. So hopefully I will have that up by Monday morning. Uh, I'm going to be about a day behind until I can kind of get a schedule. But my friend Mossy has just moved back from Arizona. Uh, I, was, I was thinking in the shower about how old we both are, how long ago we got to know each other, and how long we've known each other. Now, I've got a number of friends. Different friends hit different kind of categories. And I've got some friends that are kind of my serious friends. We talk about serious things and try to do... Uh, you know businesses together we've tried different things and I help them out with what they're doing they help me it's kind of an iron sharpening iron me and Mossy have that but what me and Mossy have that not all of my friends have is we, we just have a good time together but I will say it's hard to not have a good time with Mossy I think that's the number one thing he brings to the table all of the time for everyone that I've seen him with is he is a very fun person to be around so I'm, I'm pretty excited he, he's moved back to the Oregon area. He lives down in Salem. Very excited to have him around. Interested to see, because he's talked with me about a few business opportunities, so it'll be interesting to see where we go with that, but love him. Uh, he, he recharges the battery for me. I, I spend time with him, and I feel like I can just go get it, so I'm pretty excited about that. We're going to go play some poker, which is also something I haven't done for a while. Uh, I will talk more about, I, I used to play poker for a living. I wouldn't say I was a professional poker player, but I definitely earned a very decent living for my family and myself uh, for around 12, 14 months before I ended up starting a uh, poker club. So I will go over that as well. Probably just pick a day uh, and do a poker club video where I talk about it. I need to write a paper on it for one of my classes, so pretty excited about that as well to kind of talk about you know, how it started, where it came. I found some old photos, uh, which were really cool, of the poker club before we got the facility and then what we did to kind of make the facility into what we ended up getting it to, which was pretty gorgeous. Uh, and I think it ran pretty successfully for a long time. Uh, I'm sure customers had mixed reviews, but I feel like more than not, uh, people enjoyed their time there, and that's really what we were shooting for. Very excited about seeing Mossy. I'll check with him, see if he minds being in the vlogs, but... I feel like he's going to be open to that. I also look forward to Mossy likes to golf. Mossy likes to travel. Uh, there are a lot of things that me and Mossy will end up doing together. So uh, look forward to meeting him. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you like Mossy? I love Mossy. Uh, <laughs> I can only imagine you guys will as well. 
Um, even my kids really enjoy his kids and, and all the times that we've had together. So we'll look forward to more of that. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it ends up. All right, well, Moss just got here, so about to head over to play us some pokers. That's the guy right there. What up, dude? What up, dog? So real quick, you're good with being in the videos? Uh, it's nothing in Canadian on it, right? <laughs> Not that I know of. Okay, I'm okay. All right, so we're gonna head. Uh, maybe grab some food. You want to grab food, no, or you want to go play? Burgerville. Those? Well, does he know I'm gonna buy him dinner later? <laughs> All right. So we just made it up here to uh, what's called Portland Meadows, a little, little poker spot. Moss is super happy. Excited to be back in the Oregon's. So. Oh, I'm supposed to talk there. You can or you can't, it's up to you. I can cut you out, I don't care. Beatbox? Yeah, 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 you can do whatever you want. You're good. Oh, is it what do you see? As you twist the tiles beneath so first session in the books. Whew, rough. One <laughs> uh, face card. I'm down 75. Uh, I think Moss is down maybe down 80. 80 bucks. Yeah, not a big deal. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. Go get some of the best sushi in the area uh, over at Bamboo Sushi. Uh, and then we'll come back, hopefully make another run at it. All right, just got done with sushi. What'd you think? It's good. All right, I'm gonna pay $15 for a piece of fish and some rice, but. <laughs> uh, it's definitely a little more expensive, but you need worth it. on that, don't you? I mean, it's gonna be too dark. That's fine. It's definitely too dark. Yeah. Right on, so I'm gonna take him over to the best ice cream I've ever had. Uh, I hope the best he's ever had here in a second, we'll find out, but we're headed over to the Salt and Straw. If you've not been on Alberta Street in downtown Portland, uh, you're missing out. I guess it's more northeast, but uh, amazing little spot, great food, it's gonna be awesome. So what do you think so far? Incredible. Coolest ice cream joints I've ever seen in my life. This whole town's blowing me away right now. Feels like we're in New Orleans. I was gonna say you're like I'm going to New Orleans in about a year. Alright, well, just got out of there. Only took about 20, maybe 25 minutes. This is the best ice cream of the <laughs> so I promise you that right now. Holy <laughs> Nailed it! I told him, and he reluctantly believed me, so I know uh, <laughs> this, this stuff is awesome. Like, I don't know. I, I tried one that had blood sausage in it. Uh, I did not order it just because I'm wrapping my mind around it, but I might next time, but it was really good. Did you try the blood sausage? I did not. Oh, you got to wrap your mind around it, dude. It's worth it. I don't it. really like sausage in my mouth, but... <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to cut that out. What? All right, well, that was a nice break uh, from poker. Just to go grab some ice cream and some food with Mossy. Uh, it was super awesome. <laughs> He's a lot of fun. I enjoyed talking to him. He's got some business ideas, so we're going to look into some ventures because both of us are unattached at the moment, so we have that flexibility. We don't have full-time jobs right now, so that's great, but yeah, anyway, so we're back at the poker room, going back at it, uh, and I'll let you guys know how we end up, but pretty excited just to be out, just to be out doing something other than Pokemon. Uh, no family, just me and the moss. <laughs> done playing poker uh, we a little rough go in the beginning as we filled you guys in but uh, after we got done the good food the ice cream must have done us well yeah it was a good leave Josh I, I, I left about 700 each so oh, it's pretty sick so uh, 
Either way, it was three hundred, three yeah. or four hundred bucks. Yeah. So three, four hundred a piece. So you do that every night. Don't have to work anymore. It's called not working. It's called playing poker, baby. Super realistic, this guy. But anyway, Peace. Uh, great night. All right. Well, Mossy just left. Uh, the reason I'm talking quietly is about two o'clock in the morning. Wife and kids are upstairs sleeping, so I don't want to wake them up. But a lot of fun. Uh, Mossy's awesome. Had a great time. Uh, we <clears throat> also talked a little bit about. It's his son's birthday on Thursday, so we might be getting together to make a nice little video for him. Maybe get him to do some Pokemon stuff. He's really into that. And then his other son's got a few things going on, so we're going to figure out maybe do something cool for his birthday. So uh, love him, love the kids, love helping out, making sure everybody's having a good time. It's really, it's just really, really awesome. Had a great time with Moss, and that's the end. Look forward to being back on in the next few days, and we'll see you know, what's next, what we need to talk about. But couple of my wife's, <clears throat> a little bit of my wife's artwork I was talking about. It's really kind of cool. This is actually, she cut those pieces out and created that same thing there. And then this is a picture of one of my daughters, which is really cool. It's Maisie. So um, anyway, really cool. Show you guys more of her art another time. <laughs>